Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar. So it's been a while since we just sat and talked. I'm finally settled in my new home in Texas and I want to just catch up with you guys and let you know what's going on in my life. I'll be right back. So for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I recently moved to Texas from New York. Yes, very big move, big change. Um, and I love it, I love it. Uh, it's such a big difference. I, New York was just getting really expensive and I was lucky enough to be able to work my same job in Texas. So I get to work remote. I worked remote in New York, I work remote here. Uh, so yeah, I'm very grateful for that. Um, it took a while to get settled into this house. I didn't realize how many like collectibles I had, how many posters. Like you don't realize how much you have until you move. And unpacking those boxes took a long time. Trying to take care of two kids, um, work full time and unpack. It was just, it was definitely a chore. Um, but the new seller is almost finished. It has like a, a few little tweaks and then I will be posting a reveal, a video of it all. Um, it's pretty cool. It's definitely double the size of my last space. I'm able to put out posters that I had that I was not able to put out before. I have a few posters scattered around the room. I have my NECA figures, my Funko Pops. I got a lot of new ones and I got a new guy. Like when you guys see him, you're gonna be like, should I post a picture? Okay, that's my new guy. He is so handsome, so handsome. Um, my son loves him. Like my mom was like, Are, aren't the kids afraid? Uh, no, we love killer clowns in this house. We're a big killer clown family. I have like a killer corner, which I'll post right here. Yeah, pretty awesome. So yeah, we're big fans. The kids were not phased. My son's four, my daughter's two. They were just like, oh my God, they were giving him hugs. They were legit giving him hugs. And he's a big boy, like he's big. Um, so yeah, that's my new, new toy I was excited about. Uh, so yeah, so soon I will have a reveal. I recently saw, well, recently, well, today, but when this eventually I edit this and this will be up, it'll probably be a few days from here, from now. But today I went to go see Deadpool. <sighs> okay, so I'm not going to give any spoilers because I'm not a douche and I know the movie was just released. But boy, was that so much fun. So much fun. Now, the opening scene amazing like I laughed so hard um I was so invested <laughs> into the opening scene you will know when you see it um it was just so much I so much fun the last time I had fun with a Marvel superhero film was probably Endgame um and that was almost like kind of depressing I want to see like fun as like the, the final scene was just really it was epic it was amazing um, but this was just fun. This was fun. I didn't think too much. Um, I just went into it, enjoyed it. I enjoyed the music, the fight scenes, and there was a lot of fight scenes. It's very bloody. It's very gory. It is amazing. And if you know me, you know I love gore. Um, the cameos were ridiculous. Like, oh, oh, like my adrenaline's still pumping from this movie. I freaking loved it. Um, so if you are a Marvel fan, if you are a superhero fan, if you are probably an 80s or 90s baby, you are just going to love this movie. You're going to love it. And if you don't love it, I don't know what's wrong with you. I, I don't know what's wrong with you. It was just so good. So yeah, Deadpool, I don't want to give it a 5 out of 5, but boy, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I loved it. And I might be, like, people might think, like, Carmela, you're just doing too much and dramatic. It was, it was, it was good. It was so good. And this is coming from somebody who's not a big Deadpool fan. I'm not a big, I'm a big Wolverine fan. I love Wolverine. I love X-Men. But I'm not big into Deadpool. I don't know. There's something about him. Like, he's funny. Ryan Reynolds does him very well. Um, I liked Deadpool and X-Men Origins. I liked that, like, you know, that he was just more of, not that he's not a fighter, because obviously he is, but just more serious. I liked the serious aspect of Deadpool. Um, sometimes it kind of annoys me, the banter, but I, that's just who he is, right? But 
I just was never really a fan of the first two films. I liked them, but I didn't love them. This I loved, 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 loved. So if you haven't seen the Deadpool Wolverine film, definitely check it out. Um, unless you're just gonna completely judge it left or right and you're gonna compare it to anything you've ever read in a comic book, then just don't bother because you won't have fun. It's just, it's for fun people and it's, it's a fun time. Uh, oh, what else have I been watching? Okay, so Umbrella Academy, the new season, the final season, which I'm pretty sure is four, is coming in the next like two weeks. I, well, I think August 8th, it's supposed to start streaming on Netflix. Um, so I was a, a season behind. I watched the first two seasons. I just binged season three of the Umbrella Academy. Woo, so good, so good. Um, I loved it. I did not like the final episode though. For a season that was done so well and so much fun, I think the final episode kind of fell flat. I was just a little like, hmm, I expected something like epic, you know, for such a great season. Um, it was a good season, just I didn't really like the last episode, but that's fine. The rest of it was awesome. Um, I am watching the whole series again because there was a lot of stuff going on in the third season because I was kind of late to it. And then Netflix likes to break up their shows. There's like 10 years between each season. So it's like by the time I get to the new season, I'm forgetting the characters. It's just annoying. Um, don't even get me started with Squid Games. Like I've just been so long. I don't. I need to rewatch it before it even streams again. The second season. But um, so I'm rewatching the whole series now after binge watching season three, and I have to say season one is by far my favorite season. There's something about season one that just I just love. Um, I'm in love with number five. I love Diego. I love Klaus. Klaus is like my spirit animal minus the drugs. Like I just freaking, I love him. He's amazing. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't watched Umbrella Academy, definitely give it a try. It's a great series. It is so much fun. And they're going, the final season's coming out soon. So you have a little bit of time to kind of binge watch three seasons. If you have no life, you could do it. I think, I, I have faith in you. You definitely could do it. Um, so yeah, I, I've been that, just watching that. Um, I do want to definitely see the Alien Romulus in theaters. That's a movie that I feel like you don't, you don't, you don't want to watch at home. You need to watch in the big screen. Um, I did not see Long Legs. Everyone is raving about this movie and I do really want to see it. I have to pick my movies very carefully, the movies I go to the theaters because I just like, I don't have, you know, I had two little ones. So I can't go to the theaters like every other day. It's just kind of like once a month and I pick, I chose the Deadpool movie, which I'm happy I did. But I do want to see the Long Legs film. Um, if you have the Long Legs film, that was really awkward how I said that. <laughs> I really do want to see Long Legs. If you have seen Long Legs, just comment down below. Let me know if it was good. Like, how good is it? Um, Stream. I don't know. Did you guys see the trailer for Stream? Now, these are from the same people who gave us the Terrifier film. Um, I, Which, you know me. I'm a big Arthur Clown fan. I love everything about him. Um, so, Stream looks really good. If you haven't checked out the trailer, definitely check it out. It's supposed to be in theaters it's like i think it's a limited release in august but hopefully it does really well so we can get in in more theaters and it could be in the theaters longer but you know it's it's definitely an original idea it definitely seems like a fun film um and i'm really excited for it. that's probably one of the most the films i'm most excited about this summer um terrifier 3 trailer was just released that was exciting I remember I heard it being released, I think it was Wednesday, and I literally, on my lunch break, I got dressed, and I recorded the trailer reaction, and I was just like, I can't wait until after work. I needed to see it, and I'm so happy I did. It was just, it was very, it was quick, it was like a teaser trailer, but it was, did not disappoint. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely watch my reaction. Um, I'm just definitely an art the clown fan. Love, love, love art the clown. Um, but yeah, I haven't really been watching too many new things. Um, I've been trying to get into um, like new shows, new movies, but I, get, I always get stuck in my old stuff. Like before bed, I've been watching The Umbrella Academy. I watch a lot of The Office before bed. And I've been watching a lot of found footage, mostly the paranormal activity um, 
movies. I don't know why, I just always go back to those films. Uh, what else? I got a new Art the Clown mask. It is a custom mask. I ordered it from overseas and it's pretty scary. It's pretty amazing. Literally, when I walk by this room at night, I see that it's a big mask too. It looks like a man's head. I walk by and I see it and I'm just like, oh, it's a little scary. It's a little scary, but it's definitely amazing. Uh, what else have I watched? <sighs> Civil War. It's not really a horror, horror film, um, which was, but it was, it was just, it was a good movie. I do recommend it if you are into kind of like war movies, like if that's kind of like your genre that you're into, you'll like this. I'm not a big fan of those types of films, but I did um, really enjoy it. Kirsten Dunst was, did really well. Um, but besides that, I'm just so excited for this summer. I'm so excited for all the movies that are coming out. There's going to be some sick films coming out this year. And I am so pumped. It's a, it's a nice distraction from life. And like my social media has come, turned into a political fight between both sides. And I was just like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, when I'm going on social media or I'm trying to just check out, I just don't want all of that, you know? So it, it is nice to dive into these films, to dive into, you know, these, these series and kind of just like block all of that out, even if it's for a little amount of time. Um, just life is already so hard and stressful and with work and the kids, it's like, I just, you know, and I, I, I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. It's just overwhelming. Um, so we just have so many great films coming out this summer, this year. I'm so pumped. What movie are you most excited for? Please comment down below. Let me know which movie, uh, you know, I'm sure I don't have to say it, but I'm most excited for Terrifier 3. Um, that tagline Christmas comes early this year, which is awesome because it does, it's going to be released in October, but it, you know, he's just a Santa. It's supposed to take place around Christmas. I kind of like how they took it away from Halloween and moved it somewhere else. Like he just doesn't just come out every year around Halloween, like Michael Myers, you know? Uh, oh, I did watch the bloodline killer. It's actually streaming on Tubi. Um, that was a new film I watched. I didn't really care for it, unfortunately. I really wanted to like this movie. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Um, it had so much potential. It reminded me of a lot of films, like My Bloody, is it My Bloody Valentine? Yeah, My Bloody Valentine. It reminded me of ha the Halloween franchise. It reminded me of a lot of movies that I really do love. But it just missed the mark, unfortunately. Um, it's currently streaming on Tubi. It's free. If you have time, just check it out. Uh, I personally didn't love it. Um, my score would probably be pretty low if I was reading it, which I'm not going to read it. It, it. It'd probably be under a three. Like, maybe two and a half. Okay, I said I wasn't going to read it, and then I rated it. Okay, like a two and a half out of five. I just, I just didn't enjoy it, and I wanted to enjoy it. I really did. It was such a great cast, too. Um, it's a slasher film, and when I watch slasher films, I want a lot of blood. I want a lot of death. I want a lot of gore. I just, in a lot of the death scenes, you don't really see. It's kind of like it flashes the camera like after it's done or it's like not no blood or it's kind of little like bleh, like, you know, it just fell flat in a lot of places, unfortunately. But that, yeah, that was a new movie that I did see. Um, but yeah, I missed you guys. I missed sitting here talking and I'm really excited just to show you everything. I got a lot of new fun toys. Um, I had a lot of stuff on pre-order. So thank I, I remembered to change my address to the new address. But like, you know, all this stuff started coming that I ordered several months ago. And I was like, oh my God, I have a shopping problem. But it was like scattered over a year. But I have a lot of fun new toys I wanna to show you guys in this cellar. And I can't wait for the reveal. It's coming very soon. I know I keep on saying it, but I just wanna make sure it like, everything is done and everything is up. There's a lot of posters. The ceilings are really high. So just to get the posters up there was a struggle. I finally got them up there. Things are up there. It's almost done. So probably like in another week or two, we will have the reveal. It's going to be fun. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking around and being patient with me when I took a few weeks off. I really do appreciate it. I'm, real, I'm really happy to be back. 
Um, I can actually record anytime now because I have my actual own cellar, doors closed, don't have to worry about, you know, certain times day, the sun, you know, coming through or it being dark, <laughs> you see my reflection on the TV. Yeah, I don't have to do that anymore, so it's nice. I'm, I'm very appreciative and um, blessed, honestly. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will be right back.